Welcome back to Island Life Live. Last night on The Voice, it was a battle rounds, and I was a little bummed that they actually pit the I two know. Hawaii singers against each other. Why? Yeah. Man. Of course, we're talking about Maui boys, Kamale Kawa'a, and Gabriel Goes. This is what it went. Oh, this is how it went. <laughs> A little bit of flavor. little oh, yes. you know they I you know of course they did the song made popular by our very own brother is over the rainbow and while Gabriel did bring a lot of energy to the stage I, I did kind of feel that Kamale had uh, the upper hand he just has so much greater control of his vocals oh yeah it's Kamale come on yeah. his yeah. voice is so beautiful buttery I, I just like punch his throat <laughs> <laughs> but don't you know, though we need him to win please, this thing uh, let him go a, when you say punch your throat that's a compliment yeah, that is a huge compliment <laughs> well a very big congratulations to our Maui singers I still yeah. think Gabriel did a beautiful showing and, and if I'm not mistaken there's a chance they could bring him back right there's a save yeah well save? the save would have happened last that's night like, oh, one, of the, one of the one of the the coaches would have been. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, they brought, you know, I think the most magical thing they brought was the spirit of Aloha, Aloha and yes, Hawaii. Sister. Yep, shaka. I absolutely agree. Last night, I think, you know, Oprah was trying to share her Aloha as well. KITV shared the Oprah Winfrey special called Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss wow. Revolution. In an effort to combat all the shame, I starved myself for nearly five months. After losing 67 pounds on a liquid diet, the next day, y'all, the very next day, I started to gain it back. You know, the weight loss medications that are out there in the world mm -hmm. and all of the misinformation that is out there regarding obesity. And I, I think that this special is going to help a lot of people, regardless of their weight, to understand that it is not as easy as, oh, you know, just step away from the cookies. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's what a lot of people got, you know, um, Satisfying your sweet tooth with the chocolate and stuff like that. Where we're going to be talking chocolate in just a little bit. But I just, uh, I was very moved by this special. So was I. You know? You know, uh, just hearing the, the how she laid out that uh, she likened obesity to alcoholism where it's a disease. Yeah. And not people, a lot of people understand that. Right. Because there was a time where we thought alcoholism <laughs> was not a disease. That it was mm -hmm. just something like, again, just put down the bottle and you, you can just right, walk right, away from it. Right. And we realize it's not. It affects certain people mm -hmm. yeah. deeply, ways, right? Yeah. Obesity does the same thing as well. And so I, I'm just really, really hoping that, that this opens up people's minds and allows people to be a little bit more gentler. Again, what you said, sister, it's all about aloha, right? It's all about aloha. And yeah. you, you would hope but she's already getting blasted after this special yep. aired last night, and people are saying this, this was just another ad for Big Pharma for Ozempic, which is, you know, it's the, again, the title of the show, the shame, the blame game, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. So, you know, ne she's gonna win. never, never mind what people are gonna say. There's always gonna be Debbie Donners, negative people out there. I mean, especially with social media, it is very toxic, it's very negative, right? But I applaud her yes. for being brave to tell this story. And yep. it, it was it was educational for everybody to, for the understanding. Then why is that they're going ripper on uh, keyboard warrior? We see that every single day. Never mind about that. When you yeah. just think positive, and again, like we were always taught by our kupuna, Auntie Lena Le Kala Mahani, you always teach us always have good intentions. When your intentions is porn, when you have good intentions, you do good, you speak good, you think good, only good come back. And that special was good. Mm -hmm. okay. So you go Auntie Oprah. That was LBD. Yeah. A little bit deep. Auntie Oprah. <laughs> Auntie Oprah. Thank you. Okay. That, was, that was awesome. Never mind about negative stuff. It was educational. Yeah. Empowering for everybody. Yeah. Well, you know, nature, I think, is going to actually help us out for those people that got a sweet tooth with chocolate because chocolate is now getting more expensive. Uh -huh. A recent report from Wells Fargo found dwindling supply around the world is causing cocoa prices to skyrocket. Part of those supply issues have to do with the climate, mm. including tree diseases, broad on by heavier rain rainfall. Cocoa tree farmers are also dealing with dry temperatures and extreme winds from this year's El Nino. So the price of cocoa has more than doubled over the last year. That oh means boy. that's going to be an easy thing to get rid of when you're just paying, you know, $500 for chocolate. You're like, ah, oh, no, yeah, it's okay. I'll have a banana. You know, we're going to take a quick <laughs> break because we're going to walk up the street to Hele and we're going to raid the chocolate, the, can <laughs> the candy. <laughs> We gotta go do it before I, this thing goes. Okay, do you know how we talk about uh, about Oprah Winfrey and addiction and all those kind of things? I'm addicted to we chocolate. We all are. Yeah, 100%. that's my addiction. <laughs> <laughs>